Happy Sunday. Getting ready to head outside to go swimming. I'm super excited about that. I won't be vlogging on Mondays anymore because, yeah, so. <laughs> I'll start vlogging on Sundays. So today is dedicated to me. Hi, baby. Go drink your water. I'm about to head outside and dip in my pool and relax and sit outside and eat lunch and <sighs> exhale. <laughs> it's much needed. Also because I need to wash my hair, so I figured why not make use of going to the pool. I'm about to quickly watch over the video that's about to go live on YouTube. Sorry, last week's vlog. And then I will publish that, make it live and head outside. I did so well last week with my eating. I'm so proud of myself. And since I'm eating shrimp and spinach tonight, which is extremely keto, uh, yeah, I'm going to go get something for lunch. Not sure what I'm gonna get, but I'm gonna need something because I'm gonna be outside, it's hot. This is like the first nice day we're supposed to have in Atlanta in like two weeks. It's really been raining every single day. And let me tell you, it has been draining to my mental. Uh, I'm someone who thrives off of sun. Even if I'm not outside in the sun, it just, it makes me happy to see it. And so it's been a little difficult because of the weather. And then, you know, Chloe doesn't like going outside in the rain. So she's been peeing and pooping everywhere. She's been getting in trouble a lot. So it's been a struggle. And I want to tell you guys about the fragrance that I'm wearing today when I go to the pool. But uh, I'm doing an unboxing later this month, an MFK unboxing. So I'm going to wait. But I've been wearing it for the past like three weeks because I got it like a month ago. It's so good for pool days. Oh, and shout out to one of my friends because she ordered samples of Maison Francis Cook John. She got Gentle Fluidity Gold, Gentle Fluidity Silver, um, Baccarat Rouge 540, and Grand Soir. She and her team were um, opening the package yesterday. And she called me and she loves Baccarat Rouge 540. And she totally gets when I say it smells like a sexy band-aid. <laughs> Some of you have contacted me on Instagram and said, girl, this really does smell like a sexy band-aid. It's weird. I can't describe it. The notes are woody. It has woody notes, ambergris, uh, juniper berry, and something else. It's a fresh smelling scent with sweet notes but not feminine sweet notes. They're very just like warm and sugary. This scent is just everything. So I'm just so happy that she likes that because she doesn't really like a lot of different fragrances. But when I tell you guys Baccarat Rouge 540 is just everything. She's everything. I just adore that scent so much. So anyway, I had to talk about that, but let me look over this vlog and make sure everything is good. Uh, and I'll see you guys when I'm outside. I'm here. So first thing I do when I get to the pool, oh, by the way, let me show you guys what I'm wearing. First thing I do, when I get to the pool, is put on all my sunscreen. This is my face sunscreen. I will link it down below. Put everybody onto it. You guys, please use sunscreen. It's so important. I put it on about 30 minutes before I enter direct sunlight. And once you get your body wet, you should reapply it. This is the sunscreen that I use for my body. I will link this down below as well. Love it. I think they repackaged it though. Disinfectant wipe to clean off my hands. Now, because I've been getting very, very dark on my shoulders, arms, and my back from being outside, I did bring this. And this is a Nike Pro Slim Fit Men's Training Top. That's the info on that. It's the dry fit technology. I will link this down below. I purchased this like a year or so ago so that when I am on vacation or at the pool and I don't want like direct sun on my skin, I can kind of shield myself. So that's why I brought this just because I've been getting really, really dark on my arms and my back. So yeah, I am going to watch some 
YouTube. I'm sure my girls have put up some new videos. I'm going to eat lunch. I had a free meal, so shout out to that. So let me eat lunch, get myself hydrated. I'm watching Missy Lynn's vlog from when she got surgery. This is what scares me about surgery. I think a lot of people like their outcome, but that recovery process is rough. This is how you enjoy quarantine. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna do in the fall and winter because the pool is honestly saving my life. <laughs> Feels like I'm on vacation. So I have on my little swim top thing. I think it's really gonna help keep me protected from the sun. I can tan my legs, I'm gonna listen to music, relax, have a good time. <sighs> I hope you guys are taking time out for yourself this summer. Like I say every vlog, self-care and putting yourself first is key. Sometimes self-care means for me just putting my phone on DND and playing Kim Kardashian Hollywood. Sometimes it means eating a yummy meal. Sometimes it means chatting with someone, coming to the pool just to get away. Uh, anything I can do during this year to have a sense of normalcy, I am all here for. So I hope you guys are loving on yourself and being kind to yourself and giving yourself grace. The meal that I just ate, uh, was like 80% on plan, but who cares? Life is to be lived, honey. It is so, so hot. Stay hydrated. Oh, just love being outside in the summertime. I have to think of what I'm gonna do in the fall. Well, I guess in the fall, I can finally get to that picnic I've been wanting to take. I'm gonna finish my day of leisure at the pool. I'm gonna go for one last dip and then I am headed inside feels so besides all the bugs it feels so so good <sighs> i was just listening to tamia i love tamia like all her music i don't know i just love a good r&b old school r&b song i love like hip-hop i love a good trap music song but old school r&b will like always have my heart. One of my groups of friends uh, in our group message like a week ago, they said, if Drew Hill and Boyz II Men do a versus, who do you have? And that was really hard. So I want you guys to leave down below between Drew Hill and Boyz II Men. Now, my overall pick would be Boyz II Men, but like, I love Drew Hill. But you can't deny boys to men. Like, but then I also love Jagged Edge. Love a good group from Atlanta. I don't know. That's a hard one. Like, boys to men in my book will always have the most classic songs. But I love Drew Hill. 
anyway let me know down below uh who do you guys think would take the prize in a versus between boys to men and drew hill hmm huh. you guys are still crooked Whew. um in case anyone's wondering these are from ray-ban i will link them down below i got these like maybe five years ago a really long time ago chloe it's good to be in some air conditioning. I look like a little flathead. Anyway, I'm gonna go wash this hair and then I'm going to do some work for YouTube and watch Greenleaf. I've been trying to watch Greenleaf all weekend long and I've been getting distracted. So let me go tend to this hair, hydrate my body, spend some time with Chloe. Come here, come here. We haven't had a hug today, come here. Why won't you jump? They haven't seen you. Oh, my lights. They haven't seen you in a while. Say hi, baby. You missed me while I was outside. Say hi. Chloe, that's rude. She just said, mm -hmm. she's very interesting. They haven't seen you in a while, baby. You've either been hiding off in the cut ducked off on your own or you've been in trouble yeah you've been getting in trouble a lot i don't know why you're wearing your tail you've been in trouble she's happy now so let me go spend time with her wash my hair and edit some videos and plan out some social media stuff um yeah i will see you guys if not later today then on tuesday say bye guys I'm not gonna say bye, baby. It's something about dogs. They don't like being on camera. Look. She thinks that means look outside. Okay, see you guys later. I'm back, back, back. I'm reading you guys' comments from the last vlog. And I'm so happy. Thank you for your comments, your insight, your appreciation. Your motivation for me one thing i'm not is afraid to share the ups and downs of my weight loss journey because it's so imperfect it's so real it's so me i have been truly committed to losing weight for about two and a half years now and to some the progress i've made is not that astonishing <laughs> whatever but for me, I choose to focus on the positives, like renewing my commitment to weight loss and still, you know, striving to be my best. That doesn't mean that I have to be perfect. That doesn't mean that every day I have to eat no carbs at all and I have to work out as hard as I can. And, you know, it just means making a commitment to myself to try to get healthier. And so... I just want to thank you guys for your sweet comments because it really does mean a lot. You know, I don't think some people realize how much strength it takes to get online and share your imperfect journey with thousands of people, some who are in your corner and some who aren't. And I'm choosing to focus on those of you who are just so amazing and so positive. And I just want you to know that I really, truly appreciate it because it means a lot. Having people cheer you on and knowing that people are in your corner, it does something for you. So I'm happy that uh, at least in this space in my life, I'm vlogging and sharing my journey with you guys. And I really want you to know that I am like... I'm really happy <laughs> reading these comments. I know a lot of times you guys are telling me how encouraging I am and how I've helped you, but you guys helped me so much. And so if I don't tell you enough, I just had to tell you because getting the comments while I was at the pool and I said, let me just wait until I get home so I can sit down and really respond. And thank you guys so much. It's not easy getting online and being honest and vulnerable but I know why I have to do it because I know there are people out there who may not have the type of support that I have from you guys or even people in my own life. I know there are people who 
you know, maybe lacking a little motivation. I have been there. I've been there. I've been that person to put on my to-do list for a whole entire year of workout and never do it. I also know what it's like to have people just be so nasty and disgusting when it comes to your weight loss overall or your progress. So that is why I make an effort to always be positive online, always be encouraging and motivating because I know how much that means. Not only because I have a background in psychology, but because I'm human and I know how much it means. Even for my parents, sometimes to just say, you know what, I'm proud of you. That that really, that means a lot. So thank you, you guys, for always being open to hearing my journey and also being so encouraging to me. I think we we help each other and that's why I'm enjoying sharing what my life has been like this quarantine. I want to make sure that when I'm coming on camera to share with you guys that it is uplifting and positive and encouraging because there's so much negativity in the world. There's so much heartbreak and devastation going on, you know, around us this month, this year, what have you. And um, I don't know. I get encouraged and uplifted when I'm watching people's vlogs this year and just seeing how they're faring. You know, life is not meant to be lived perfectly. And this year, especially, you know, I'm sure it's been a roller coaster for us all. But just know that you guys always have somebody in your corner because especially with weight loss and, you know, the motivation to weight loss and self-esteem and confidence, I know the emotional roller coaster that it is. I live it every day. Um, it took a lot for me in that last vlog to get on camera with all my imperfections and show you guys my body in those swimsuits. But I did it because I want you guys to know that it's okay. It's okay to look imperfect. It's okay to not be where you want to be. And it's also okay in that same right to celebrate where you are and love yourself. So I love you guys. I just had to share that with you all. I speak to a lot of you on Instagram and it is so much easier to highlight the negative of being on social media. Because, you know, the positivity is like a warm hug, but it's like that that one ounce, that one percentage of negativity is often what is highlighted. But I want you guys to know that um, I just appreciate you. Thank you. Just knowing that I am helping somebody, if not just one person, that really makes me happy because I too struggle with lots of things every day. And I know how hard it is to get up every day and face reality and still strive to be your best. So I'm here for you guys. I love you guys. And I also appreciate you so much. And I just wanted to share that with you. I'm going to finish drinking my coffee because I didn't have any today. I'm going to edit a video or do a second cut of editing answer all the comments from last Sunday's vlog, do some self-care, finally watch Greenleaf, and then I'm going to be cooking. I'll come back later today and share what I'm having for dinner. Super, super healthy. I'm going to start this week off right. I'm, I'm really hyped for the new week. I don't know what's going to happen, but I just feel like something amazing is on the horizon. So I really want to work on centering my mind this Sunday so that I can have an amazing, amazing week. So thank you guys so much and I will see you a little later. So I got a package in the mail. You guys know that I've done uh, one video in the past with Ferreo and they reached out to me uh, because you guys know that another popular skincare brush brand has recently gone out of business. So I'm super excited to try Ferreo's Luna 3. Uh, I do have a Luna 2, but this is the new and improved version. So this is the one for combination skin. It's basically a smart brush. It has T-Sonic pulsations, targeted firming massage, 
extra soft touch points and I believe they're even larger than last time, like in previous models. Then the thing that I'm super excited about is the Ferreo Bear. And this is a smart microcurrent facial toning device. Now, obviously I'm in my 30s, so I don't have any extreme signs of aging, but I am excited to use this just to review it and give you guys kind of uh, a little demo of how this works. I also received the Ferreo Micro Capsule Youth Preserve Serum. So this is to use in combination with the Bear. So I'm gonna be testing this out this weekend. I can't wait to try the Bear especially. So pretty much the Ferreo Luna 3 is used with cleansing your face and the Bear is more of a targeted anti-aging skin toning device. So yeah, I'll definitely show you guys me using this this weekend and I will keep you guys updated. Uh, and I'll probably include both of these products in a skincare routine that I will be doing shortly. So I just wanted to share this little unboxing with you guys. And if you are interested in these products, all three, I will be linking them down below for you to go learn more information if you'd like to purchase it yourself. You guys were sitting on the uh, heat protectant spray that I was trying to tell you guys about. This is the Joyco Ironclad. I used to use the Sebastian Trilliant, but then it was kind of oily, so I switched to this when I was out of that. I think this would be great for all hair types because it's like, it has the like texture of a super fine mist hairspray, but it doesn't make your hair sticky and hard. I spray it in dry hair before I blow dry it. And if I wait a day to flat iron my hair, I will also spray it onto blow dried hair. Spray it all over and then I run my fingers through it and then I comb it out. It doesn't make my hair hard. I love it. I will link this down below. I will be doing an updated hair care routine in September. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna go film some videos. I'll see you guys. So, I noticed a few days ago that there was a huge puddle leaking out of my skincare fridge. So I unplugged it and I dried it out because condensation forms and then ice usually forms right back there where those screws are. Then when I plugged it in, in about 24-ish hours, it's not working. As you can see, or as you can hear, you hear the motor running or the fan, whatever it uses, but it's actually not getting cool. And I've looked at reviews of the Teamy Blend skincare fridge on Ulta's website, and they are horrible. <laughs> um, now you guys know I've worked with Teamy Blends in the past. This is like, <laughs> this is no shade. This is just my honest review and opinion. Uh, a lot of people said that their fridge stopped working at about three months. I wanna say I got this in May, June, July, August. Well, that would be three months. <laughs> Anyway, so I am going to contact my friend and see, well, I'm not gonna bother her. I'm gonna contact Nordstrom because she purchased this fridge from Nordstrom and I have to see what the window is for their return policy. But yeah, everybody for the most part on Ulta's website who left the review said that within three months, the product stopped working. Now, I love Teamy Blends. I love their mask, which is in the fridge, that oil, which is in the fridge. I love my skinny tea and colon cleanse tea. I've never had any issue, but now we have the skincare fridge issue. So I will definitely update you guys on that. Honestly, I don't, if they accept a return, like I'll, you know, return it to the store, but I don't think I want another skincare fridge at this point. Um, I might as well just actually put my skincare in a little regular fridge. Or I might as well just keep it in a cool dark place. Um, the skincare fridge is a good idea in essence. But who wants to be exchanging a fridge every three months? Not I. And that thing is large. So I can only imagine trying to ship that back to Nordstrom. 
But I will let you guys know, I do like the idea of having a skincare fridge, but it's not something that's completely necessary. Yeah, we'll chat later. <laughs> I just wanted to update you guys on that. If there were people who were thinking of the Teamy Blends skincare fridge, I would just say, do your research. This is my opinion and my experience. Um, but judging from the reviews on Ulta's website, this happened to a lot of people as well. I don't know. If you've never had sea moss, this tastes like a baby sea urchin without the salt, blended up in a in a ninja blender. My mouth tastes like an aquarium. I'm gonna have to put this in something. Can I put it in coffee? I tried to do it raw. It literally tastes like a sea urchin, if I ever knew what that tasted. It would be really good. I could see this really good in smoothies and stuff. Now, what are the benefits supposed to actually be? It's a very sea, sea taste. It's not nasty. It's just, it has a faint sea taste. I'm putting this in coffee, though. This is gross, but Keiko Beauty on the route to being more holistically healthy, premium sea moss. You guys know I like my kombucha, so uh, try it out though, guys. It's kind of cool to try different things, but it tastes very sea urchin-y. Mm -hmm. oh, you want some sea moss, baby? Come over here. Sit. She's never taken this long. I guess she won't be going to the beach. You don't like it? not like it it's good <laughs> it's good for you baby oh she's looking at it she's intrigued you're intrigued yeah it's on your nose chloe has sea moss on her nose <laughs> no mas no mas Okay. Hey guys, I just wanted to come in quickly. I am watching one of my faves vlog right now. I'm not going to say whose it is because she shared some personal things in the vlog and it's not my story to tell on my channel, but, um, just had a little word for you guys. I felt it in my spirit. Um, just because I know so many people are going through so much right now and have been this whole quarantined year. Uh, and I just wanted this to be a little gentle reminder that any type of stress, anxiety, depression, uneasy feelings, um, feelings of you should be doing more or not doing enough or feeling imperfect and all of that good stuff, that is all valid. I don't know who I was talking to or if I was vlogging, but I think for a lot of people, even myself, Quarantine has been a time where I have been able to pour more energy and time into like work, whatever that means, social media, businesses, into working on myself, perfecting certain crafts, into caring for others, being there for others. And I think sometimes we take for granted just how taxing that is. Just, you know, being there for people, friends, family, loved ones, you guys. Like, because I feel like I can be there for you guys as well. That's a lot. And give yourself some grace, please. It's so necessary. I think as this year especially is very hard for people who have type A personalities, which I don't have, because... It's been a year of stillness for a lot of us. And I think for some people, being still is uncomfortable. I think a lot of people have this get up and go personality, which is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But in a year that has required us to be more still, that can be challenging. 
And like today, I'm not gonna, this vlog will be a little different. It's just gonna be segments. I'm not gonna um, do like a full day of vlogging and then another full day of vlogging because today I woke up and I said, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go run my errands, go to the grocery store. I'm gonna work for a few hours and then I'm taking a day to myself. Like I think, you know, self-care is such a hot topic word right now. It's very popular, but I don't think you guys understand like, how much self-care you should be doing should you need it and how I am all about self-care. Um, even if sometimes that means having to ignore people to preserve my mental and even spiritual health. Um, I think especially for people who take care of others from others, for caregivers, for sisters and brothers and older siblings. It's a lot. Like, I don't think we give ourselves enough credit, especially this year. Think about all that's happened this year in the world and even in your own personal life. And for a lot of us, we've made it through, <laughs> you know? And amazingly enough, we should celebrate that. Like, I mean, when you just think about all that's happened this year, that's amazing that, you know, for I hope the majority of us, we've been able to say to stay healthy and sane. So, you know, give yourself some grace this year, please. I, I honestly beg you guys to, you know. Um, I know a lot of us strive for perfection because that's what, that's how we are, you know, but in a year that has been so imperfect, it is okay to be imperfect. And for a lot of people who, like myself, have been home, you know, majority of this entire year or quarantine, what have you, for some people, it's hard to find things to do outside of your normal routine that are actually self-care things activities that focus on self. I think we spend a lot of time sitting at home just working, you know, trying to stay on path for our goals because it's like this is the one time, at least in my lifetime, where I have literally minimal outside distraction in terms of I don't have to go on any vacations, I don't have to go out, I don't have to go to any parties, no functions. 80% of my time can really be dedicated towards staying on task and being focused. But I think we also have to recognize that like sometimes it's okay to have a break. It's okay to literally take a day and be still and lay in bed and stare at the ceiling or the wall or your phone or your TV. And you can still be an amazing go-getter and you can still work towards your goals, and you can get back on track the next day. I also know people who being in quarantine has been very hard for them because a lot of the things that were self-care for them or that brought them joy and happiness and peace involved being, you know, somewhere else, outside of the home, with different people. And so, I don't know, like, my task for those of you who are experiencing that this week is to find something that you enjoy doing at home that you can do alone, that is not dependent upon anybody else, that serves your greater purpose, makes you feel happy, warm, and fuzzy inside, because that's what self-care is all about. It's whatever you do to honestly take care of yourself, whatever that means. If you're genuinely doing it for yourself, like I don't think we really understand some of us how important that is. You know, if I didn't have peaceful time to myself, you know, even vlogging when I'm having these conversations with you guys, that's self care for me. You know, digging within myself to bring out something that I'm thinking about, that I'm that I'm challenged with. Like this is like help and healing for all of us. I think. And I just want to be able to help you guys like do something this week or find something this week that you can do that doesn't involve anybody else or isn't dependent on anyone else that you can do just to be happy and feel joy. That's so important. Even if it's making a cup of iced coffee, you know, 
And sometimes that's working out. And sometimes that's playing Kim Kardashian Hollywood. And sometimes that's watching YouTube, chatting with a friend, sleeping, eating, staring at the ceiling. You know, I just want you guys to take care of yourselves and be mindful to check in with yourself and know that whatever you're experiencing is okay. It's okay to feel your feelings. It really is. I've said this in a vlog before that I went and took a training at the beginning of the year, right right before quarantine started. So I took this training in early March and I didn't realize it at the time, but that was the best thing for me this year. That training just opened my eyes and I'm so glad that I have the knowledge and the books because I still have them to refer back to and reflect on during this time because I don't think any of us could have imagined this year would be so tough. But um, I just really hope you guys are doing what you need to do to stay well. And that's why I just love having a background in psychology because it just allows me to look at things from a different perspective and if I can just help anybody, that's all I want to do. And that is why I continue to vlog because believe me, there are some days and some weeks where I'm like, I'm not vlogging this week. I don't feel like it. I'm sick of it. But no, I have a message to share and I just hope it helps somebody because it's been a tough year. But hang in there, guys. I love you if nobody else told you today. I'm going to finish watching this vlog and then I'm going to do a little bit more work and then get in bed and relax. I will see you guys later. Okay, sorry for the flower. So this is one of the bras from Yvette Sports and I just wanted to give you guys an update. I love the fit of this bra. I love the style. Let me show you what it looks like. Can you see? Yeah, so it's like crisscross straps and then there's no clasp in the back. The one con and the reason why this isn't my favorite is because of this metal hook right here. So the selling point on this bra is that you can fully adjust it. I can't take it out because I can't see over my bosom to put it back. But there's basically all these little sections and this is like a clasp. So you can take this off and adjust it. But the problem is when I sit down or when I'm working out, the bra doesn't stay right here. It rolls up a little bit and then this digs into my skin. So this one, and I'll put the name across the screen. This is not my favorite just because I feel these things poking into my sides all the time. I could fix it by putting like a flap of fabric right here. Besides that, I really do like the fit of this. I love the fabric, it's always super comfortable. It wicks away sweat really nicely. It holds me in. I think it looks nice on me. It's just those two little metal things. Like if you sit down, like they cut into your stomach. So that's why this is not my favorite. So far my favorite is the orange one. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I will link that video down below. But now it is time to work out. The leggings that I'm wearing, <laughs> they're the leggings from that video. I am obsessed with them. They fit so well. The only problem is that you can hear them when you walk. Big thigh problem. I can't do anything about that. But I love that they have pockets. They're super comfortable. They're also not see-through. Yeah, I love them. So it's workout time.
guys so i'm not gonna be really vlogging for the next few days because my cousin is in town but um i got something in my p.o box that i want to share and i got some oat milk shout out to my friend um i've been seeing a lot of ladies actually switch to oat milk um, I think Happy Stylish Mommy, I think Haroya Felder. I want to say she uses oat milk. I could be wrong. And then my friend was like, you have to get it. It's so good. I use it for my coffee. That was my sign <laughs> that I needed to try it, especially because I've been having a lot of mucus. The Nespresso coffee is so strong that I have to use a lot of creamer. So this is dairy-free, I believe. Yeah, it's dairy-free, something else free. <laughs> free of nuts, soy, cholesterol, and artificial colors and flavors. It's vegan. This is the kind with zero sugar. So I'm excited to use this for my coffee today. I think this is unflavored though. So I'm gonna have to get some sugar-free um, syrups. Let me disinfect this before I go opening it. So that's that. We'll make, <laughs> we'll make some coffee, but then I got this from one of my Instagram buddies told me I had something in my P.O. box. Now I went two days ago, but um, when I was picking up my cousin, I happened to be in the area, so I swung by. So let's see what this is. Let me wash my hands again. No. I told her she did not have to send me anything, but she said she just wanted to do so. So let's see what it is. I forgot she said she was sending me the gel polish soap off clips how cool is that thank you so much girl I'm gonna have to DM you so you guys know I do my own gel manicure and I usually use foil <laughs> but every time she sees me using foil she's like girl I'm gonna send you these so thank you so much love I really really appreciate that um, this is so cool. I wonder if I can still use cotton balls with it. Hmm. Thanks so much. So if I can find this, I will link them. That was so, so kind. So thank you so much, love. Um, I also got some gel polish. Why do I look red? I got some gel polish in the mail. I have a really big event coming up at the end of this month. And I wanted to do something a little different with my nails. So I purchased this DND gel glitter color. It is shade 401. Oh, and also I bought some new gel polish from a black owned beauty brand. Um, shout out to my girl, Christian. She posted it on her stories. She's like super into nail polish. So I knew it would be a good brand. And then I checked them out and they are a small black owned nail polish brand. I want to say it's called Triple O. I will link the website down below. I'm going to be doing a video all about black owned brands, specifically black women owned brands. So I'm getting together all these items that I want to share with you guys, including some that are my favorites that I use just day to day. They did have a gold glitter gel polish, but I had already purchased this, so excited about that now let's make some coffee i am can you take my baby for a ride when you go out tomorrow auntie lakeisha no chloe likes to whine in the car but let's make some coffee that it doesn't have dairy in it but this doesn't have any flavor so yeah i'll drink it like this today it's real coffee -y, which is good some people love that um taste that flavor so i guess i will let you guys watch me do oh no i'm doing to get ready with me okay well i'll see you guys tomorrow happy thursday <laughs> i am sleepy this morning but I have a lot to do. Did you go potty? I don't think you did. Go potty, and you didn't eat yesterday. Go potty. I have to sit and watch her. 
I, I'm just OCD about like having a clean countertop now. I had so much fun. I had so much fun yesterday. If you are following me on Instagram. You would have seen that we had South City Kitchen, which is like a really nice Southern cuisine restaurant in, uh, it's in Midtown and in Buckhead. I think those are the two locations, but those are the two I know of. So we had that for dinner and then we had these mini cheesecake things that they sell at Publix. It's like an assortment of two, four, six, eight, like probably a third of the size of a regular slice of cheesecake. So I had that last night and it was nice. Like we ordered a whole bunch of food from South City Kitchen and we shared it. And it was nice because I didn't even eat one full plate of food. And I was kind of thinking like, oh, I'm gonna be hungry later. And I was, but it was good because that was the biggest example of why portion control works. And I spoke about this a little on Instagram this morning because having just a little taste, I had one collard green because it was stuck to the piece of chicken, half of a piece of fried chicken, three quarters of a crab cake, one spoonful of mashed potatoes, and like half a piece of um, cornbread muffin. Oh, and a fried green tomato. And that was all I had for dinner. And then I had that tiny little cheesecake piece and I was satisfied. And I woke up today without having gained a pound and I don't feel bloated. And you guys, that is all that matters to me. You know, part of my weight loss journey has been talking about giving myself grace. Speaking of grace, Chloe Grace, what, what's in your mouth? Drop it. And I'm gonna enjoy life. I mean, this year is just so hard overall. Any little glimmer of happiness, positivity, and just fun, I'm really going to enjoy, so. That's what I did last night. Portion control works, you guys. If you do wanna enjoy yourself, just be mindful of your portions. Today, I am back on track. I think I'm gonna make beef and broccoli for dinner. Super, super simple. I'm not gonna use any type of sauce. If I do, it'll just be soy sauce and I'll just season up the beef really well. But I am on my imperfect path of health, fitness, and weight loss. But anyway, um, I need to go get a gift for a friend. I just want to send out a little token of my encouragement, appreciation, and motivation to this person. So I'm gonna go to the store, I'm gonna run and do that, come back, drink coffee, work for probably five hours straight, then work out and cook. So you guys can follow me around today. It's another dreary day in Atlanta. Yesterday, there was like a tsunami outside. So shout out to the tsunami. See you guys later. I just got an email that an item that I just ordered has been delivered. So shout out to my girl, Christian. Um, she has become one of my best Instagram buddies. We chat all the time. She did a post featuring this brand called Clean Skin Club. And she was focusing on these like, these little towelettes basically. And it's about to rain. So let me go check my mail now so I can actually show you them because they were delivered. One moment. So these are the Clean Skin Club clean towels. Now, my girl Christian talked about these on her Instagram. I used her code to get some money off. So I will put that code down below for you guys. I wanna say Happy Stylish Mommy included these in a video as well, but I had already purchased them by the time I saw Happy Stylish Mommy's video. Biodegradable soft single use towels to use when you wash your face. Well, you know I've been suffering with maskne, but I do have adult acne just, you know, during a regular year. I do typically use a regular white washcloth, but I wanna see how my skin is different, if it is different at all, by using something that is a single use towel. Typically, I just use my washcloth and I replace it after like two or three days and I only use white washcloths on my face. I'm excited to see how these are. I will link to this product down below as well as put my girl Christian's uh, coupon code in the description box because that's how I got these. Uh, so let's open them. 
this is what the towels look like. These feel really nice to be single-use towels. So at first glance, what I can say is that these are really thick and sturdy. They're also very soft. Oh my goodness. I think I'm really gonna like this. They are biodegradable, but it's not necessarily cost effective because traditionally I buy my white towels from Target or I love the Ritz Carlton white towels, which you can buy online. I'll link that down below. And I am not someone who, I'm very particular about my towels. Let's just say that. So I will buy a Ritz Carlton face cloth, a washcloth, that's just how I am. So, you know, that's a $12 investment, but those towels last at least a year and a half. I wanna say this was like $15. So this is definitely more pricey and this comes with 50. So this should last me almost two months. So it's not too bad, it's like $7 a month, but it's still kind of expensive when you think about the fact that you're literally throwing this away. But I do want to use these just to see how my skin reacts differently if it does at all. Maybe this will cause me to have less acne just because I'm using a clean, face cloth every day so yeah i'll be using these for the next month and i will update you guys and let you know how i like them this is not sponsored um i just saw them and thought this would be cool so yeah i'm gonna link these down below as you guys can probably tell it's now dark outside it's storming yet again um, i'm just sitting here comforting chloe because she does not like when it's storming I'm going to finish up working and then work out. I will see you guys. Oh, that's okay, baby. We're going to see you guys in the next vlog. I'll probably end this vlog here. Not much else is going to happen today. Thanks for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great start to your week if you're watching this on Sunday. I love you all and I will see you next week.